As mentioned in the previous chapter, over the past couple of centuries, Madison Borough has been the home of many beautiful and historic buildings. Unfortunately, most of them have been lost to the ages, torn down by eager developers or in some cases destroyed by fire. After several severe fires occurred in the late 1800s, the Madison Hook and Ladder Company No. 1 was formed and brought into operation on May 23, 1881. Previously, fires were fought with the age-old method of civilians dousing the flames with pails of water, the Bucket Brigade, with occasional help from the more established Marstown Fire Department. On April 7, 1882, the first ladder truck, a horse-drawn wagon, was purchased. The first official firehouse was constructed at 19 Central Avenue, June 6, 1882, a building which still stands. The original landowner, William J. Britton, donated the land for the station. In 1890, the water plant was constructed on Station Road, where it remains today. On April 1, 1891, a new hose wagon, similar to this one, was bought by the newly christened Madison Borough, which spun off of Chatham Village in 1889. On August 1, 1898, a new hook and ladder was purchased for $1,125, which would be worth about $31,000 in today's dollars. On October 3, 1903, Benjamin and Carolyn Burnett donated land at the corner of Central and Cook for a new fire station. The old building across the street had become the new police station the year before. The police force, which had been formed in 1890, had previously been housed in various other buildings around the borough. In 1935, after the completion of the Marcellus Dodge building, the fire and police stations moved into the lower floors of the new borough hall where they remained for about 70 years. In 2008, the police and fire department moved into the new public safety complex on Kings Road. In 1921, Geraldine Dodge purchased an Aaron's Fox fire engine and donated it to the borough. The year before, she had lost several barns on her property due to a fire caused by lightning. In 2013, by the efforts of the Friends of Geraldine, the Morris County Historic Preservation Trust, and numerous private donations, that very same fire truck was purchased and delivered back to the borough of Madison, where it resides next to, and is dwarfed by, its more modern cousins. If it's true that having an institution of higher learning in town, or at least nearby, tends to breathe a continual stream of youthful vibrancy into that town, then having three is even better. Previous topics included the campus history of nearby Fairleigh Dickinson University, but the campus of Drew University lies completely within borough limits. In 1832, Williams Gibbons, an owner of a New York, New Jersey steamboat company, purchased various tracts of land in what is now Madison Borough. Totaling 95 acres, he named his property the Forest, and to this day, Drew University's nickname is the University in the Forest. By 1837, he had completed the design and building of a Greek revivalist mansion to be his home. In 1867, Daniel Drew, a railroad tycoon and a devout Methodist, bought the estate from the descendants of Williams Gibbons for $140,000, today's equivalent of about $23 million. Drew donated the land and building to the Methodist Church to found a seminary to train Methodist ministers, who would then go out into the world and spread the word. He named the mansion Mead Hall in honor of his wife, Roxana Mead. In the ensuing years, the school has added liberal arts and graduate programs in several more buildings while preserving most of the trees, perpetuating the school's nickname.
as of this taping, as two major religious holidays fall upon us, perhaps it would be an appropriate discussion to mention the third institution of higher education, founded within a short distance of Madison, the College of St. Elizabeth, in Convent Station. Founded in 1899 by the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth, it is the oldest women's college in New Jersey, though soon to turn co-ed. The school was named after Sister Elizabeth Ann Seaton, who founded the Sisters of Charity and who was canonized as America's first native-born saint after her death in 1821. The community known as Convent Station lies wholly within Mars Township and was named after the 1870 railroad station which was built to service the older Academy of St. Elizabeth, the girls' school associated with the College of St. Elizabeth. For many years, the Institute ran a successful dairy farm that supported the school's expenses. Today, the school has a liberal arts program of nearly 20 majors as well as a graduate program. During the high holiday season of several religions, we take stock of what's good and what's bad about our little borough. One can't escape the fact that Madison citizens always pull together to support the ill and the infirm. And though there are occasional disagreements and complaints about local government fees and taxes, in the end, for the most part, it seems to work out. As one local citizen remarked recently, we like it here, and we wouldn't have it any other way. 